let's get right into it. Thank Janie. you for having me. Ah, thank well, you. Well, let's just start with the bag of clay. Okay. All right. This is the okay. beginning of everything. Why is this so important, Janie? I'll tell you. Michael, let me you show you. Let me the let gift. me show you. Now, most people, when they see this bag of clay, they yes. think, "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take." So I can't just rip it out. No, can't. you can't, and you can't because it's sticky and because it's plastic. Those okay. are the two reasons right. that I want it. Okay. So. Wonderful. I want it because it is sticky and because it's plastic. So what I'm going to do is use a simple cutting tool, cutting wire. One of the characteristics of clay in this plasticity right. is you can separate it from itself. You can take a piece of it and put it back together to itself. Okay. And the reason you can do that is because it has plasticity. Love it. It stretches. So show me that stretching. I'm going to you... show you that right now. And let's remember this. Yes. Clay is sticky. Okay. And it's dirty. It's dirtier than dirt. Nice. Because dirt isn't dirty as clay. Now you can see this right now. Look. Okay. My so imprint. It's already starting to. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. There, my imprint. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Now. Stretch it. Nice. Well, now. And, and why do you do that? What's the process of stretching? Well, or, I mean, not, this what is it? I am why? trying to make a tile. That's what okay. I'm doing here okay. today. Okay. I'm going to make some tiles. I'm going to make some small tiles to demonstrate how do you make a clay tile. And using some of your unique tools too along Correct. with it. Like the imprinting is part of your art. That's really your specialty in your look. I mean, well, I don't want to. Uh, you know, the, my correct. fascination with clay is that it will take your imprint and record and document what you do uh, okay. for all time. So let's let you start cool. picking a tool. Okay. Right. I can start imprinting? You can. Now Some this, of the came, found this is a found object. This came from an automobile. I love it already. All right. Okay. Now, okay. Can I just put it on? Set I it would anywhere? use this side. It's better. That side's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> now here's what I wanted the other side. Then you should use the other side. <laughs> Never listen to me. Well, we're, we're doing a, a okay. piece together. Okay. Ooh. Wonderful. Now. So it's that easy. Take a look at that. Now. Okay. Do you want to add to that? I would While love you're to doing add to that, it. I'm going to do something over here. So it's pretty much free form. I mean, so your art. Well, when I start like this, I'm really investigating and exploring what I can do with the clay. Okay. That's, now that's I think you're seeing that we don't work on the clay. Okay, okay. We work with the clay. That makes sense. The clay is helping us yeah. make a mark. Yeah, that makes sense. So a little layer, not too much. Well, whatever you decide. There we go, voila. So my MO at this stage is really, I wonder what would happen if I yeah. do this, what will happen? So it's intuitive. I mean, it's very, your process is like, uh, I'm an abstract painter and I approach it not knowing always the return, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Shooting so that's... at a moving target. Sweet. Can I just continue freely? You Well, until you think you've <laughs> bottomed out. <laughs> <laughs> love it, okay. Well, uh, I love. Now, I saw some of your work um, you know, obviously previously, and I never knew what tools you use. Right. You also make some of your own tools? I make you... all of my own tools except this wood. Right. I did not make this the wood. This is wonderful that, <laughs> and uh, obviously a few found objects. I mean, we got this engine this, part. This I, I cut love that you with use. my uh, plasma cutter. Right. This is a lot of cutting. But that's cool, your own And tools. this is <laughs> makes it um, so cut you've... with it. This is quarter inch steel. Okay. The reason that is good versus this thinner piece is okay. because I can go deeper. And it's heavier to really get those Now deep. you will notice that okay. the clay is sticking. I do. It's a little too wet. Ah, I was going to ask about that. It's a little too that. wet. Okay. And the challenge, now this, people say to me, do you, Beautiful. well, this is a thicker piece of steel. That you cut yourself. That. Yeah. And there's the result. Well, it's thicker. And this stuck more because it didn't have as much mass to
to pull it away. Okay, so that's part of what it's, you need to... Well, when the clay is really soft, that's another reason I say over and over again. Yeah. I work with the clay. Yeah. The no. clay's wet. What am I going to do? Right. Am I going home? Right. So no, you have I'm to not kind of going be aware home. That. Yeah. I like clay. When <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. Now, quickly, uh, um, we'll, time's going to come up on us. Okay. You're going to be able to show us this process of between mark making, clay from the bag, okay. to stamping the tile, letting it dry putting the surface treatment on okay. it, two firings okay. later, and we have this. Wonderful. So, that's... so those are the stages. We'll be back with more of Janie later in the show. What do we do next in the process? Of... Well, we've made some impressions in this. That we have. After it dries, Right. I'm going to paint it with some uh, okay. colored clay slip. And what's that made with? I, I've always this considered that This is actually glaze, clay. This it, is, is it really? It's all clay. And it, does it have pigment in it once it? This has some cobalt in it. It's okay. actually called terra sigillata. Which, terra sigillata? Yes, right? the slip is called terra sigillata, which nice. means earth seal. It's about a 3,000 year old concept. Wow. What you see is not what you get, contrary to what you see is what you get. Oh, now okay. the work is not spontaneous. Now it's slow and it's, but we're going to speed it up today okay. for you. I like it. Let's so it. after it's fired once, you can see the blue. I didn't paint the orange on, but you can see that it is painted. So quickly, this part, this blue we're seeing, was that, sl that white slip. Absolutely. Okay, so it dry, dry. Now the orange looks more orange here. Okay. After that's fired, then the final step is to paint it with a stain. Now, a stain means it stains. Okay. It's a very okay. strong material. And uh, brush it on, sponge it off, and then you get this. Nice. So nice. these are finished pieces that have gone through the process, which I'm going to have you kind of hold, hold and up. Show. Uh, I cut this piece of steel using a plasma torch. Plasma torch, yeah. And I, and I use that for this as well. Okay. And so this is the impression yes. that you're basically showing that process. And somewhere you flip this. Correct. Ah, there's that impression again. Right. Exactly. Wonderful. And this is the same. Okay. Let's see that. So okay. this was also plasma torched. Correct. Obviously. Beautiful Correct. piece. Correct. And that was part of the design. Exactly. In there. Exactly. Look at that. This goes right in. And so you get some of these beautiful transitions of the, the color. Yes. Is there a second firing then? So it... Yes. And the reason this there are transitions is because if when I paint this material on, okay. I decide okay. that Excuse I me. want to sponge off part of it, Okay. actually remove it, remove it. You can't see it that well because it's the wrong color. And that gives it a certain look? Well, what are you after what, when you do it? It won't be even. Okay, we'll pick that up again, sir. It no. won't be even. Okay, and that's so where you get that movement. That's right. If I want to do a series, Okay. and now I know where I'm headed. Now I'm not just playing around. Okay. Now I'm aiming for something. Okay. I'm making a series. Now, a piece like this. Yeah, the one we see right here. Then. I kind of have to know where I'm going. Okay. Because I have two different size tiles and I want them to fit together. I want them to look good together. Right. A frame the, within a frame. Exactly. Kind of thing. Okay. On the other hand, for something like this, okay. which is dirty, um, I use I use this here. Okay. And I, that's also got wonderful coloring around it too. That's that now whole, that's a, a very earth tony. Three different, three different colors of slip. Okay, so and this and and quickly. Oh, and you so you use rocks. And I use rocks. So your whole end result, just to kind of wrap it up as we're running out of time, is to you create all these, you know, patterns, p patterns and tools. You work with the clay and you do what the clay will give you. The correct. Right, and then it becomes more of a tedious thing with the with the slip, where you got to slow down a little bit and then yes. fire, and then you have a piece. Correct. 
That is wonderful, and the yes. process has been wonderful. Well, and it's, a, it's a little slow, but... It is, but before we get into it, um, we just love having you on the show, and I want to thank you for being on the show. Yeah. And I can't wait to see, you said maybe later in your studio, you could fire that for me. I will. Okay. It shall be done. Janie, it was such a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having All me. Right.